Just a few days ago, Stellantis revealed some new technology, and we're gonna talk about it. So is driving a task for you? Is it just get you from point A to point B? You don't care what you drive, you don't care how you get there as long as you get there safely? Or is driving an experience for you? Do you enjoy wrapping those hands around the wheel? This immersing yourself in the vehicle and just enjoying the trip? I would say for the most part, I am B. Generally speaking, my drive time, my windshield time, is a time for me to kind of unwind, enjoy the car, and pull myself out of maybe what's hap going to happen that day or happened that day. Having said that, that's why I enjoy driving different cars and I enjoy driving fun stuff. If you're like my wife, yes, she likes driving a nice vehicle, but she doesn't really care about that experience getting from point A to point B. Where am I going with this? Well, if the car could drive itself, would you let it, would you just let it take you there? So for me, much like EVs were a thing and I was super, super against them and we're not gonna go down that conversation today. You know I'm not against them anymore. The technology of autonomous driving is something that I in the past would say, nope, not interested and I want nothing to do with it because I do enjoy the experience. I enjoy my driving. The reality is this technology is here, just like the EV technology is here. Do I think in the future, auto drive and autonomous driving is gonna become standard on all vehicles? Yeah, at some point, some sort of autonomous feature is gonna be standard on all vehicles because it's gonna turn into a safety feature, just like airbags did in the 90s. So Chevy's got Super Cruise, Ford's got Blue Cruise, uh, we know Active Lane Assist, all these different systems, Tesla has one, obviously, right? So all these different systems do something a little different and they all work a little differently. Super Cruise, for example, you've gotta be on a programmed road uh, and it will navigate you. Tesla, that one will take you turn by turn. Uh, Lane Keep Assist, well, that one is basically just ping-ponging you in between, making sure you stay in your lane if you were to doze off. There's level two and three and level two plus. What does all this mean and where am I going with it? Just a few days ago, Stellantis reveals Stella Auto Drive. And this is what they're calling their level three autonomous driving. And they actually kick it off, and I'll put a link to this video down in the description, but they actually kick this off in a Wagoneer S. And we just did a review on that one. Now the Wagoneer S we did a review on has a driving assist system in it and it will keep you center of the lane, but you've got to have your hand on the steering wheel. As you watch, I'm gonna take my hands off for a second. It's navigating the turns all by itself. Is it autonomous? Absolutely not. It's a driving assist. Um, and again, as we get closer to the vehicle in front of us, that is going to, it's gonna slow me down. So that's what we would call a level two uh, system, right? You have to have some driver engagement in order to, for the system to work properly. We actually did the same thing on a Grand Wagoneer in a different review a few years ago when that first came out. My hand is not on the wheel. I'm not on the gas. I'm not on the brake. It does want input from me, so you rest your hand there. But you'll watch, it will literally navigate you. It will keep you in the center of your lane. Um, I'm not touching the steering wheel. If you look here at the steering wheel, I'm, it's, it's active. It's doing it all by itself. Now you'll notice it's telling me the steering wheel is, is now it's telling me to place the hands on the steering wheel. Same thing, it's great. As long as it detects that hand on the steering wheel, generally speaking, if the conditions are met, it's gonna navigate you through turns. Now it's not turn by turn direction, but if you're on the highway, it's gonna navigate you even around town, it'll navigate around bends, not turns. Well, this Stella Auto Drive is Stellantis's first autonomous driving system. If you watch this video, they actually tell you that this is, maybe encouraged is the wrong word, but it's allowing you to be basically completely mindless of what's going on. It doesn't require driver input until it does. So it actually says like, enjoy the view, catch up on a movie, read a magazine. If you're a teacher like my wife, grade your papers. That seems crazy to me. A lot of the other systems, it requires you at least to be looking out the window. There's cameras that are watching your eyes and it requires you to look out that window. This one literally says you could watch a movie and it shows some guy reading a magazine, watching a movie. At some point, if the conditions are not met or something happens, 
it's going to require driver input. In fact, if you watch this video, you'll see the you'll see in the dash it, it lights up orange. And we did a video on the Grand Wagoneer, and we showed what happens if you were to say fall asleep at the wheel and not be holding onto the wheel. Lights up orange, seats vibrates, brake checks you. We're going to show you what it does if you really don't pay any attention. It's telling me to place my hands on the steering wheel now. It's still driving. Uh, it's going to start to turn red here in a second. It's really not going to like it. We got red lights on the side of the dash. It's red. It's flashing. It's blinking. It's it's going to brake check us here in a second. Oh, I'm still not awake. It's beeping at you. It doesn't like what you're doing. Hands off the steering wheel. It's really going to town. So I'm curious though on this. I'm assuming it's going to be the same sort of thing. But the thing with the Wagoneer is. Or, or, or I should say, the level any of these level twos is if it detects a situation where it needs driver input, you're already there. You're already somewhat engaged. You already got your hands on the wheel, or you already got your eyes out the windshield. With this, you don't. So is it is it seconds that you lose? Now the flip side is this system only works up to 37 miles an hour. So a second at 37 miles an hour is certainly a shorter distance than a second at 60 or 70 miles an hour. But I'm curious how that system is gonna work to get you back engaged to take over the control of the wheel if needed. This system that comes that, that just launched, uh, it shows a brand new Wagoneer S. So it does say that this system will be capable of taking over the air updates. So as the technology progresses, it does say the next step is gonna be that this system will work up to 59 miles an hour instead of the 37, and that will be an over the air update. Now the question I have is, will this be an over the air update for a current Wagoneer S, or is this gonna need hardware? Now if you look at our video review we did on the Wagoneer S, there's this screen that's got now, 10 different sensors all over it, and you can see what ones are work working and what ones aren't. <clears throat> but the only thing that makes me question it is it does say there are sensors that have self-cleaning, I'm imagining little washer, windshield washer type sprayers, self-cleaning sensors on them. I know the cameras may be self-cleaning, I honestly don't remember. So from a hardware standpoint, I'm not thinking that maybe the current Wagoneer S would be set up. I guess we'll find out on that. The other thing it also says is this technology looking to go move forward will even be used for off-road. Now that's interesting because how do you navigate off-road? You know, we understand this. You've got cameras, it detects lines, it detects traffic. This system will actually even change lanes and, and, and keep you going throughout traffic the best it can without any interaction from you as the driver. Now, if you follow the other video we did, and we talk about how is your how is a drone going to help navigate your Jeep off road? Maybe that's going to tie into this off road capability that they're talking about. And I don't imagine we're going to see this next year, but n no less, I think it's something that is coming. They've been teasing it on multiple things. So check out the video here. I'm gonna put a link to it. We talk about how a drone may assist with your driving. This technology that's coming, whether you like it or not, it, it, there's, a, there's a coolness. Some of it may be useful, some maybe not so much. I'm a super tech guy. I love all the new tech. I think it's awesome. Um, it's just how do we want to adapt to it and how do we want to adopt it? So what are your thoughts? Are you the kind of driver that would love to be able just to kick back and read a book on your way to work and sit in your own car and not public transportation? My wife would. Me? No, I'm out. I wanna drive. I'm driving. I get car sick as a passenger. I know it sounds dumb. I wonder if I would get car sick sitting in the front driver's seat well, the computer would drive. My bets are I would. So again, we're gonna put a link to the video below. S Stella's new auto drive system. Uh, don't have dates on when it'll be revealed and all that kind of stuff. I think the technology is, it's here. The, the, the systems are here. It might already be in your, in that Grand Wagon, or in that Wagoneer S. See, I talk Grand Wagoneer S. I can't wrap my head around it. We talk about branding in another video. But let me know, what do you think of the auto drive uh, Stella's auto drive system, and uh, is it something that that would be a a, a deal sealer if you, on your next vehicle? So comment below. Are you an autonomous driver, or do you enjoy the driving experience? We'll see you on the next video.